What's up guys, it's Cody from Pacers Gaming. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the new shot meter mechanics in 2K20 and how it can affect your jump shot. So first things first, we're gonna show you how to equip your different shot meters if you wanna keep it on, have it at your hands, at your feet, or turn it off. And maybe you've heard the rumor, turning it off might do something special in 2K20. So. To change your shot, first thing you need to do is hit start, go into your My Career menu over to Options, press A on Xbox or X on PS4, into your controller settings, and it's the second option down in your controller settings. You have shot meter. Right now I have it on by my hands with the splash effect when I green. You have three different options with by your hands. I'll show you what those look like real quick. We're gonna leave it on by hands with a splash to start. So there we go. That's what it looks like when you green with by your hands. The shot meter's a lot like 2K18. It's up at the top, uh, right by your hands. Great visual cue. This is what I have on for my player right now. That's what by hands with splash looks like. You can have the splat effect or you can have the flash effect as well. None of these change your timing. It's just what you think looks cool when you hit a green. Next, we have by feet with splash, uh, by feet with splat and by feet with flash. So I'll just do, we'll do by feet with splat for fun to see what that looks like. This jump shot is very similar to what you saw in 2K17. They had an option last year. You can see the bar at my feet right now where when you shot it, both ends of the bar came toward the middle for your timing. Now it's back to 2K17 where when you shoot it, it starts at one side and goes all the way around to the other. So that's by feet with a splat. Now let's talk about when you don't have a bar on your jump shot. So we'll go back into options here in your menu. Now let's talk a little bit about how not having a shot meter on affects your jump shots in 2K20. First thing you need to know when you turn your shot meter off is that your green percentage on average goes up 6% on all of your jump shots. That might not sound like a lot, but it is in the grand scheme. That could put you from an 80% three-point percentage all the way up to 86. That's, that's a big discrepancy if you're trying to play at the highest level. The next is your make percentage overall goes up 4% as well. So Mike Wang tweeted out early in the year that turning your jump shot off is, is a new competitive setting in 2K20. The 2K Lab guys confirmed it. We see the percentages work. So if you're playing at the highest level, this is something you really need to consider. Let's see what it looks like if we jump in to the My Court. Now, when you do turn your shot meter off, you need to remember that you are going to have to have a good understanding of your jump shot timing. Because you don't have a meter at your feet or at your hands, it's all by a visual cue with your player. So if you feel comfortable with your jump shot, then I think it's time to turn the shot meter off so you can get that increased percentage, both make and greens. You've probably seen quite a few players turn the shot meter off in 2K20. Uh, it definitely looks different, but I think if you can master it, it will take your game to the next level. I've seen uh, some of the best shooters in the world uh, from the 2K League already turn their shot meter off, and man, it's, it's crazy. It looks like they're greening so much more than when they have the bar on. But at the same time, there are players who aren't shooters necessarily, so maybe some bigs or some locks who play out of the corner who don't shoot as much, they've left their shot meter on for now. So I, I've seen it go both ways. I think it's really up to you uh, how much you shoot the ball and how comfortable you are with your jump shot. But uh, the data shows it definitely does make a difference when you turn that shot meter off. All right, guys, that's it for this shot meter video. Again, shout out to our guys at NBA 2K Lab for diving into the data. If you're interested in learning more about your shot meter and finding the best jump shot to use in 2K20, head on over to NBA2KLab.com and you can use the code PACERSGAMING to get 20% off their premium subscription. So head on over there. Let us know what you think about the shot meter, what you're using. Would love to see it in the comments. Hope you have a great day. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.